surfing, skating, skiing, and I hit the dirt bike trail. But the latest thing's happening is a skateboard with a sail. I hang glided down a gentle slope, I pedal my 10 speed too. Since I got my windscape, sailing's all I do. Windscape, there's no debate, and it's the latest craze around. Wind skating, start relating, cause it's coming to your town. You can wind skate at the playground, parking lots and sidewalks too. On the desert, salt flats, frozen stream, oh, any know. old place will do. You got the back sail tag, and there ain't no lack of maneuvers you can do. There's the upwind jive and the downwind ride, the limit's up to you. There's a burst of speed when you start to lean against the power in the cell. It's sort of scary, not that hair, and you really start to wear. Wind's getting, there's no debate, and it's a little squares around. Wind's getting, I start relating, cause it's coming to your town. You can wind skate at the playground, parking lots and sidewalks too. Desert, salt flats, frozen stream, yeah. any old place will do. The sport of wind skating was designed to be a fun and enjoyable sailing sport for everybody. The wind skate can be carried in the back of a small compact car and set up ready to use in just a few minutes. It is unfolded to full size. Mass sections are joined together and the crossbar is positioned into place. The sail is tied tight and wing nuts fasten the crossbar. The wind skate can be used on any skateboard with a small plastic pivot cup but longer wood boards are recommended for serious wind skaters. Wind skating is not at all hard to learn, and many riders master the basics on their first attempt. Here Janice gives a push to get started, pulls the sail into trim, and tacks across the wind. Heading downwind into a turn, she lets the sail swing around the front of the board, and catching it on the other side, she tacks back across the wind in the other direction. A series of beginning tacks may leave the wind skater downwind from the original starting point, and many a novice has had to pedal her wind skate back upwind to start sailing again. The technique for tacking back upwind is the back sail tack. Here the wind skater turns the sail up into the wind and leans into the sail against the wind blowing from the other side. This precarious position can be compared more to flying, as the rider is being almost fully supported by the sail in the wind. At the end of the back sail tack, the rider has regained his upwind position and can turn back around for another high-speed downwind reach. Here Jamie Budge, the designer and inventor of the wind skate, continues to demonstrate the maneuverability of the sail on the skateboard with a series of slalom turns. On each of these turns, he can gain speed by pulling back against the force of the wind in the sail. Again in the precarious back sail tack, if it gusts too hard, he may take off like a hang glider, or if the wind dies, he may fall forward onto the ground. Obviously, the back sail tack is not recommended for novices. The force of the wind can be a very powerful driving energy. Here the wind skater finds it easy to wind skate up the same hill that most skateboarders skate down because of its steepness. A parking lot in sea breezes is good practice and fun wind skating, but the epitome of the wind skating experience is the desert dry lake bed. Here the hard clay-like surface offers the ideal area for wind skating. The wind blows 15 to 30 miles an hour and wind skaters can go twice the speed of the wind while weaving in and out of the sagebrush moguls.
even though a desert suntan is hard to resist, it is recommended that all wind skaters wear standard skateboard safety gear while wind skating. Although most wind skating takes place at comfortable speed ranges of 15 to 25 miles an hour, in extremes the wind skater can trim across the strong desert breezes at 40 to 55 miles per hour. The method for slowing down on a wind skate is to let out on the pressure of the wind in the sail, and the wind resistance in the sail will slow the wind skater down to comfortable speeds. The lake bed goes on for miles and miles, and even beginning wind skaters have been known to take off on first rides that last for hours and cover vast areas. As the wind skater heads into a turn, he may head slightly up into the wind, allowing the sail to luff and slow him down. As he heads into the turn, he can pull back on the sail to regain speed going into the turn. After the sail swings around the front of the board, he can again pull back against the sail to accelerate while finishing the turn. In this manner, the wind skater has full control of his speed as he executes a series of slalom turns. The back sail tack in desert winds can be very precarious. The rider must keep his sail angled at 45 to 60 degrees against the wind just to keep counterbalance. It takes every effort of concentration and balance just to keep from becoming airborne or from leaning so far into the sail that the skateboard slides out from underneath. But the desert is a genuinely friendly place to wind skate, where a small regatta of sailors can head off for hours exploring the far horizons of this new frontier. Whether it's on a desert dry lake bed, or a parking lot, or a frozen ice lake, the sport of wind skating provides an exciting new challenge to the age-old hypnotic appeal of sailing. Thank you.